Hello my audience, today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit more about the lame life. Do you feel in this moment that your life is very lame? There's nothing exciting happening in your life and you're just looking outside of yourself for excitement in things like drugs, drug taking, extreme sports, maybe wasting all your time on YouTube watching videos, people doing extreme things. Do you feel your life is very lame? Do you wake up every day at the same time, sit on your computer or start up your car, go to work and do the same thing over and over and over again and you feel that there has to be more to life? I'm going to say to you that there is more to life. But there's one catch in this. It's that you most likely will have to figure it out yourself. There probably won't be a person that can come to you and tell that if you want to make your life a little bit less lame, you have to do this. Probably won't happen. And it might be that the exciting thing and the groundbreaking thing or the groundbreaking discovery you are bound to make in your life, because I believe that you are a genius, is going to be something that I could never do. And what I'm going to come up with is something that nobody else could never do. Do you believe, you're po do you believe it's possible to be that kind of a person? Do you believe that it's possible to do something that nobody else could do? You know? Do you believe that you could even make somebody else value that? Well, I believe that it's possible. Of course it's possible. But we have to put in some measures. And I'm going to call these guiding measures. These are not the end thing I'm going to see coming out of you. Or you are going to see coming out of me. They are guiding measures. They are going to guide your behavior a little bit, you know. Simplify your home. Simplify your immediate living environment a little bit. Make stuff that will help you get skills. More easy to reach. Make it a habit. Guide your behavior a bit. Make stuff detrimental harder to reach. Almost impossible to reach. If it's really like bad for you, make it impossible to reach. I'm going to tell you the art and the idea and the vision of the technological detox. And in the de technological detox, we take a box and you could use a cardboard box and you put all your technologies in the box and then you tape it close and you try to live without this stuff for a while. That's the basic idea. You can also use this if you are an addict, like take your whatever you are addicted, put it in the box, tape it close and see what happens you're going to experience some withdrawal symptoms and some rumination about that. And it's okay. It's a guiding measure because maybe in your mind you go, it's a pain in the ass to always open that box. You know, maybe I will do something else. Put your X box in a box, you know, and tape it close. When your living environment is the way that all the bad stuff is too easy to reach, you know? Smartphones, people grab them like, you know, in every possible situation that they feel that there might be something happening. There's nothing happening. Just remember this, there's nothing happening because everybody lives the same way as you, you know? Of course, they are not doing anything. How would they have the fucking time or the brains? They don't. Nothing is happening. Nothing so important. This very important. Next, we're going to talk a little bit about your diet, your food. Like, What do you eat? Do you get enough energy from it? 
Do you drink enough water? Could you make it like more easy? Do you remember to take your supplements, your vitamins, that kind of stuff? Do you like take good care of your body? Are you overweight? Could you exercise more? If, if not, like why? If you really cannot exercise, could you devise a way to still keep up high energy? To make your brain function better? Is there any way that you can make the basic stuff so good that something will like grow out of it? To make your life less lame without it being dangerous or hurting yourself in the process? Because there's something called homeostasis or like rebounding or backsliding. You go into this direction and you get results, but then there come also with the results kind of adverse side effects. And you kind of go back and you know, kind of, no, no, no way, that's bad. No be going there. Let's just keep in the safe zone. And then you are in the safe zone for the rest of your life. It's that, is that what you want? Or do you want something more? If, for example, you have kind of internalized this, that when I ask somebody of something, maybe of something of value, or somebody of something in general, if I ask somebody of something, you know, it's usually that uh, I get a negative answer and I put off people. Is that the reason why you don't ask for that? That it doesn't work. Well, it might be possible that it doesn't work, but it might also be possible that you just have to wait a bit and then come back at some point again to it and try again, ask again. You know, let's imagine that you are an overweight guy and you always get a no from females and it's not about really about the no, it's about you. You have to work on yourself a little bit and make yourself a little bit more attractive, you know. There's a lot of stuff that you can do. I believe that most, you know, human beings that I've seen are basically attractive. And then there are people who really couldn't do anything about it. But I believe that most likely you can do something about it. And I believe that that's also a kind of a way to make your life a little bit more less lame. But I want to just make, I just want to remind you that when you have something working in your body, for example, you can see and you can smell and you can move your hands and use your hands and you can walk and this kind of stuff. You tend to forget and take these things kind of for granted. And then when you lose them, your life becomes really, really lame, you know, if you can't walk properly. I have experience of this. It becomes so much more lame, your life. So I just want you to kind of become conscious of that, that your life might not be so lame when you really examine it and think about how amazing it is that you can even do these things. So... Think about that the next time that you are looking at that women's legs, you know. <laughs> Think about it. It's pretty amazing that that's even possible. Yeah. So, learn to appreciate stuff that you can do and... Maybe you can muster out of yourself some extraordinary behaviors. You think about, for example, the Stephen Hawking guy. I have never read, read Stephen Hawking, but I have one book coming in from him. And he was in a fucking wheelchair, you know? And he couldn't talk, but still he devised a fucking way. And it's pretty amazing. And his thinking was due to the limitation much different. And I want you to kind of think about yourself. What are your limitations 
And how could those limitations be made into abilities? If we guided your behavior, understand, you can't go here, you're going to almost automatically take this route. Could we make you a lot better? Yeah. So control your environment in this way, not based on what you desire or what you want in the next moment, but what you are going to do to achieve the genius. And it's going to be amazing. Thanks for watching.